Okay, so morning guys, welcome to another in pain version of the Beauty Berserker, me, Matt. First of all, huge massive thank you to each and every one of you guys out there that's subscribing to my channel, watching my videos, liking on them and commenting on them. I do read and will reply to each and every single comment that is made underneath. And I've now hit well over 13,000 views, which is absolutely stunning. Uh, loads of subscribers as well out there, which is absolutely amazing. Now, for those of you that are wondering why I'm a bit animated and not particularly moving around too much, I have a slip disc in my back. I'm in absolute agony. I've got another review for you today. So you're not going to see me doing cartwheels and stuff like that. The hands will be moving, but not so much of the arms and the torso and everything because I am in ridiculous amount of pain. The four walls are closing in at the moment. I can't wait to get back to work because I'm just bored now, um, having time off and everything like that. But it does give me a chance to do some reviews and chat to you guys. Now, I'm gonna be doing a live review at the end of next week, so please stay tuned for that one. And for those of you not entirely sure what I'm doing here, I feel like that occasionally, to be honest, myself as well. But I'm here to try and show you guys that there is an alternative to these huge, massive brands. That let's face it, they've got a shed ton of money that they can throw into promoting, advertising, marketing their products that these smaller brands don't have. And when I'm finding with these reviews that I'm doing, whether it's clothing, jewelry, skincare, beard care, hair care, all sorts of different products, because they're a small brand and they know as soon as their product is released out onto the market, they're gonna be in direct competition with these huge, massive brands. So they have to kind of make their products as good as they possibly can do before they release them. And because if not, they're not gonna go anywhere and they're gonna end up closing down, which is why we need to support them. And with all the reviews that I am doing on my channel, I am completely honest. Since day one, complete honest on each and every single one of the reviews I've done. And because I, the same as you guys, I'm a consumer. And let's face it, there is nothing worse than going out, earning our cash, spending it on products, you get it at home, doesn't work, doesn't live up to expectations, you bin it or it just sits there on the shelf gathering dust. So I'm giving 100% honest reviews. I'm completely unbiased. I'm not affiliated to any of these uh, brands or anything like that that I review. And everything I do is my own honest opinion. So. I've been really interested in this review that I'm doing today for quite a while now, and which is the reason why I've sort of set up the Instagram and YouTube channel is to try and help these smaller brands and show you guys there is an alternative and show you guys what they're doing. They've got loads of cool posts and everything going up on Instagram, and it's one of those ones that they've only sort of like not been going that particularly long but their posts are really cool and their products look amazing. And it's one of those ones that you always sit there and go, I wonder what that's like. I hope that kind of lives up to its expectation of what they say. So we're gonna have a look at some of the products that they've sent through. So I need me reading glasses for this because otherwise I can't see bugger all. So a few days ago, I uh, received a package through in the post, didn't have to pay any customs for it or anything, which makes a nice change because usually stuff in the US I have to pay customs charges and everything when it comes through but I didn't have to with this so we're going to have a look at the products that they've sent through thank you so much to Dodge City for men for sending this through or Dodge City men's grooming for sending this through to have a look at see what I think give you guys my honest opinion because I like to kind of try and find the negatives as well as the positives because surely these smaller brands out there would like to find more negatives than they would positive so that they can sort of change it if they so wish and make it better as opposed to just blowing smoke rings and going, oh yeah, it's absolutely fantastic stuff. And like I say, it's one of these um, sort of men's beard grooming brands that I've loved the look of since I've started uh, doing my reviews and everything. Well over 200 reviews now. I think I'm coming up to about 250 reviews. Um, so here we go. So first of all, oh, my back is killing me. Um, I received a package in the post, cardboard box. Um, obviously it came in out of packaging, which I've discarded. Um, Dodge City uh, Men's Grooming with their sort of uh, six shooter logo on it. 
Good pistol logo, Dodge City. Really nice little box that it's coming. As well as that, it's come with some fluff to basically make sure the products don't bang against each other. So a nice little package that is coming. And with the products that they have sent through, we're gonna be looking at them for a start, talking about ingredients of them, what I thought to them, the scent of them, if there was scent. I know exactly what these products are like and smell like because I have used them. And I'm not, like I've stated before, overly keen on these unboxing videos where people unbox it, have a quick sniff of it and go, oh yeah, it's really nice. How are you supposed to know if you haven't used and haven't tried them, you're not given an honest opinion about them. So all products in the US and other places apart from UK and Europe, Europe and the UK have to go through CPSR checks, which is um, Cosmetic Product Safety Report Test to make sure that you don't turn into werewolves and have any massive horrible chemicals in there and allergic reactions and everything like that. But I still highly recommend when you do do um, get a beard oil or balm or everything or anything, always do a little test patch first just to make sure you don't have any allergic reactions to it and so that you know that it's safe. I've had no problems with these products whatsoever. So moving on, there was a nice little note inside. Howdy Matt, uh, you supported us since the beginning and all the way across the pond. We can't thank you enough and we hope it was worth the wait. Cheers, yeehaw. Thank you so much to Matt and John from Dodge City for Men for sending this through. Oh, moving me back for, oh. You can see the links there, which I will be, got paint on my fingers. Um, which I will be putting in the description box down below afterwards. So please go check out uh, Dodge City for Men. And I really do like these little letters that come through with products um, that are sent to me. Not everything is sent through to me. Some of the products I go out and buy myself. Um, but it's nice. And I do actually keep all of these letters in a little tin. Um, so down the line, if I've stopped doing this or for whatever reason, I've got a little note of it because it's really nice that people take the time out and they're as interested in their products as I am in their products. And it's really nice with brands that they're always backwards and forwards in these small little brands and craftsmen and individuals and stuff. Kind of like, what do you think of this? Do you think this could be better? Do you think this is, needs to be changed and stuff like that? So it shows to me that they're actually really passionate about what they're doing and really creating. So also inside of the box, we had a business card. Um, nice little kind of like playing card sort of look to it. And Compass and Six Shooter and Matthew McBride and John Valenzi. Sorry if I've butchered your names, but there you go, a business card, but I will be putting links down below. Also in Thide, we had a sticker which will be going up on my sticker mirror, but I do need to get a bigger board for my stickers and everything that's sent through because I'm running out of room. I've got on my mirror frame in a review room, um, kind of like all the stickers and everything, but it's one that I use when I come do my beard and hair and everything else like that, but it's getting smaller and smaller, so the gap's pretty much kind of just like that, so I can't fit any more stickers on at the moment, but I'm gonna be getting a bigger board for all the stickers and everything. And so thank you so much for the sticker. Really, really appreciate it. Now they've sent me through four items to have a look at. Beard balm, beard oil, beard brush, and a beard wash, which is very, very kind of them. And I cannot thank you guys enough for sending that through, uh, Matt and John. Great name, Matt, I love it. So first of all, we're gonna be looking at the products themselves, the packaging and everything else, ingredients, prices of it, and then scoring it out of 20. 20 being absolutely fantastic, fantastic stuff. 10 being, yeah, it's all right, nothing that impressive. Zero being, I'm never gonna use it, it's gonna sit there gathering dust, and I will end up giving it to someone as a Christmas present that I do not like. So that's kind of how I score it. So first of all, um, Dodge City for Men, Matt and John, uh, is veteran owned, which is really nice to hear. Authentic 1800 recipes that they use, going back to the old sort of traditional methods and everything. And they're from Fredericksburg, Fred, bleh, 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 Fredericksburg in Virginia. So their whole thing, Dodge City as it sounds, runs along that sort of um, Wild West cowboy sort of thing. They sent me through a beard oil to have a look at a beard balm or beard salve to have a look at. Oh, 
beard wash to have a look at and also a beard brush. So move that over to one side. So first of all, the packaging, it's quite cool to see a clear bottle for a change because to be honest with you, the whole reason that a lot of beer products come in, amber bottles, blue bottles, uh, green bottles, opaque bottles, is it stops UV rays going through into the bottle, uh, degrading and breaking down all the oils. Now, not being funny, I keep mine all the time in a cool room. Uh, there's no sunlight that really gets to them and everything else like that, so I don't particularly have a problem. Even my bathroom doesn't have a window in it, so I haven't got to worry about stuff like that. And the review room is quite, it's one of the coolest rooms in the house. So, the first one that they've sent through is a beard oil, Dodge City Snake Oil. Um, Black Heart and Bourbon, this name is, one fluid ounce, which works out around about 30 mils. And on it, you've got uh, their website and everything, and ingredients bits and pieces which is always nice to see so ingredients wise in this you have grapeseed oil sunflower oil sweet almond oil jojoba oil or jojoba oil coconut oil ylang ylang and vitamin e now the scent on this is allegedly oak vanilla mahogany and herb and so it's not necessarily bourbon in there i know exactly what this smells like so let's have a bit of a quick smell guys it's quite a nice scent just coming straight from the bottle but remember with beard oils and beard balms the scent from the bottle do not worry about that the scent is more important when you put a few drops on your hand it's kind of like an off yellowy pale liquid on here put a few little drops on your hand and it's once put the lid back on because I don't want to be throwing it everywhere like I did in another review that I done a while back generate some heat though because that heat from your hand will kind of like awaken all the scents and everything and you will get a better idea of the scent profile as opposed to smelling it from the bottle when it's actually cold definitely vanilla not sure herb wise what i'm detecting from it but getting a kind of like a woody scent from that as well which is probably the mahogany and the oak really nice subtle bordering on the sweeter sort of side of it sort of scent and it is very very pleasant it's quite a warming scent almost I would say a wintery sort of scent so it, and on my scent scales graph that I have here down here very subtle medium and up the top here is take your head off and kick it into next week this is around about your sort of medium average sort of scent that you would expect to find from a beard oil strength wise. And now that vanilla, when I use this, the vanilla is the kind of first thing that you smell. Then that sort of dies down a little bit. Then you kind of get the wooden or oaky sort of smell through from it. So it's really nice and really, really well blended, if you know what I mean, that you get that initial hit of vanilla, that drops back and you do get an oaky sort of maybe mahogany scent coming through. Herb wise, obviously uh, the scents and everything is down to personal opinion and everything. Herb wise, not detecting too much of that, but definitely the oak, mahogany and vanilla. Those are the kind of like the prevalent scents that I can smell. Scent wise, that's lasting for around about three, maybe three and a half hours. Although I have been told by my other half my wife and that basically you can still smell it once I sort of like the end of the day and everything like that so it does still smell really really nice absorb very quickly into the beard hair and the skin having no problems with itchiness redness flaky skin um, beard hair falling out or anything like that and it is a very very nice scent and that vanilla is just a nice warming scent over the woody notes I'm very, very impressed in what they've created with that. Like I say, it comes in a 30 mil, uh, one ounce um, bottle with a pipette on the top, which is my preferred method of delivering beard oil, because I tend to use six to seven drops per day, maybe seven to eight drops once I've washed my beard, maybe twice a day, and maybe 
if I'm at work, and I'm not with obviously a bad back at the moment, but if I'm at work, I will tend to put a few drops in my beard uh, before I go to bed at night, because obviously I work in a hot, sweaty, sticky environment, so it's good to kind of put those oils back in. Really, really nice. Left my beard feeling nice and soft and conditioned. And a great job on the beard oil. Absolutely stunning stuff. I love the scent on it. Moving on. Oh, so... And it's nice as well with these guys as well that they're kind of basing all their ingredients and everything on 1800s authentic uh, recipes, which is nice to see. So same with this one. You, this is Dodge City. This is the Beard Salve Beard Balm called Fool's Gold. It comes in a two ounce tin. I know it's a two ounce tin because this is what a two ounce tin looks like. Plus it says two ounces on it. And you've been fooled out fooled out of love you've been fooled out of non non crappy kids uh we're not going to fool you out of a great beard cell direction scoop your finger rub into hands massage into beard and again it's nice with this that they've got the ingredients on there but the ingredients are shea butter sheer butter depending where you are how you want to pronounce it beeswax grapeseed oil sunflower oil sweet almond oil jojoba herb oil Coconut oil, ylang ylang, and vitamin E, and obviously your fragrance oil as well. So, this is just a slide on tin, it's not a screw top or anything like that. You can see where I've scooped some out and tried it. And I don't know which one I prefer out of the two of these, to be honest. They are both very, very good. Perhaps I would like, I like the sweetness out of this because the scent on this one is for the Fool's Gold is Virginia tobacco and vanilla. Now scooping a little bit out, the scent on this is actually slightly stronger than you find when you open the top on the beard oil. But again, it's a really nice scent. And when you are using beard balms, you don't need too much. Literally just a half a fingernail's worth, which is that much. Generate some heat through it. It soon emulsifies into the hands, turning it into a liquid because obviously the butter in there and the beeswax. And this has got a really, almost like a spice. Tobacco, to a certain degree, has a spice scent to it, if you know what I mean. It's like a herb, spicy sort of scent. And added with the vanilla, this is absolutely beautiful. I love the scent on this, and I cannot express how much I love the scent of the Beard Salve, the Fool's Gold. Really, really nice. I've got some already in my beard this morning, but I'll put a little bit more through rather than wasting it. And put some on me tattoos because obviously as you know beard oil beard balm it's good for your skin and everything and tattoos if you've got them i love the scent on this there's just the right amount of beeswax in there to give your fly away beard hairs a bit of hold it's not a styling agent as such because you can obviously buy beard waxes which do that a beard balm has basically got a little tiny bit of wax in there beeswax which kind of helps lock moisture into your skin and your beard hair helps condition it and also at the same point um, really, really nice. Um, and at the same point, I've forgotten exactly what I was doing now. Um, but the reason they put beeswax in there is just a kind of little bit of hold to hold those beard, those flyaway beard hairs in check. That's what I was going to say. And it's not necessarily a style of wax, but it is a very good product. Well made. I love the design on the front of that with the tobacco leaf and the vanilla pods on there, the mine cart with a little river and the gold in there. Gold up and then the hills, boy. So also they have sent through, turning me notes over, a beard brush. Loads of different sort of beard grooming products you can buy for styling and everything. Beard combs, wide, wide gaps, thinner gaps, beard brushes, um, special beard brushes with wooden bristles and everything like that on there. Really, really nice. Black wood with their logo laser engraved and etched on there. It's actually into the wood and not just like a horrible transfer, which is nice to see. Made out of boar bristles, really nice for just keeping your beard nice and tidy and everything, giving it a bit of style. There you go, you see what he's done already. And so really, really nice. No clumps of hair falling out from my beard or from this, so it's a well-made brush. And also, they've sent through High Noon. Um, basically pine cedar and leather beard wash 
comes in a six ounce um, pot, tub, whatever you want to call it. And I've got a post coming to the door. Bloody typical. You get the post coming through. Never mind. And basically, this one is a beard wash. Postman always comes at the wrong time. Really, really good. I've used this. I only tend to wash my beard literally twice a week uh, on a Sunday midway through. And when you are washing your beard, don't use the same shampoo as you put on your hair as in your beard because it's a lot stronger than the one that you put in your hair, which will basically kind of dry out your skin and everything underneath your beard and leave it brittle. So a beard wash is designed to kind of like clean your beard, clean your skin and everything underneath, but without extracting all the oils and everything. And it tends to be a lot softer and a lot milder. Now, on the back of this as well, you can see all the ingredients, which is so nice to see. And scent-wise, pine, cedar, and leather. It does, it's got a definite punch of pine on there and a back hint of leather to it. It's a really nice scent. And it's a really good beard wash, one of the better ones I've actually used and tried. And I love the logos on the front of this. Uh, my dad came over the other day to see if I was all right. And he's well into his Cowboys and Wild West films and stuff like that. And he tried to pinch this off me, even though he doesn't have a beard. So the label definitely appealed to him on all of the products. And again, it's a good beard wash. So, when it comes to prices, all the prices I do and stuff is sent through in USD. Um, just before I do the review, I'll put it through a currency converter, which will give me the UK um, equivalent of. So, with the beard oil, the beard balm, and the beard wash, that is coming out at, just checking my notes, making sure, $17, which is working out at £13.73. The beard brush is coming in at, excuse me, $10, which is working in at around about eight pounds, eight pence. So it's kind of like your standard sort of price, two ounce tin of beard balm, your 30 ml bottle of beard oil, and six ounce of the beard wash. And I think that's greatly priced. I would pay anywhere up to around about in UK money's worth about 15 quid on top of that. Not on top of it, um, but altogether 15 quid each. I think they're very, very well made, really nicely blended. And it's nice because like I said, I've been really interested in these products since I sort of like found them on Instagram and everything and been following them. And it's like, I, when you see those different sorts of scents and everything, you're like, I hope that smells as good as it is and I would love to try it and love to do a review on it and to Matt and John I think it is sorry yeah my memory's shot to crap um to Matt and John you've done a magnificent job with those three products uh including well four products if you include the beard brush I think your pricing is absolutely bang on I think it's a quality product with quality ingredients on there I love the scent profiles they last a very long while and the labeling and um packaging of it is absolutely spot on as well with the whole wild west cowboy theme please keep on doing what you're doing and when it comes to scoring it I cannot score them any more than 20 out of 20 because I love my sweet scents and my woody scents and everything like that. These are right up my alley. I love the presentation. I love the packaging. I love the products. I love the base oils, base ingredients. I like what they're doing. Beard brush is great as well. And thank you so much to Dodge City for men, Matt and John, for sending that through. I would kill to do another review because you always see these different products and you're like you're online and you're buying or you're looking and stuff and you go that's really nice but i like the sound of that one that smells nice and you never know kind of which which one you want to buy and everything almost like going out for a meal if you go to go out for a meal and you look at the menu there's only one thing you want on the menu that's kind of a bit crap in my opinion it's nice when you go out for a meal and you look at the menu and there's like five or six different things on the menu you think that sounds really nice, that looks really nice, whichever. And it's the same with this brand, if you know what I mean. They've got loads of really good sounding products and I'll be very interested to see whether the consistency between these products that I've reviewed 
have the same consistency level all across the board and there's not like a weak link in there that you look at and go, mm, that sounds dodgy. Um, so I really hope at some point I'm going to either buy or get a chance to do another review for these guys because their products are absolutely spot on. Like I say, I will be putting links down below to Dodge City uh, for men or Dodge City Men's Grooming, whatever you want to call it. Thank you so much to Matt and John for sending that through. Your products are absolutely amazing. You should be very proud of what you're creating. Really, really nice to see and keep up the really fantastic, great work. But thank you guys. I'm going to collapse on the floor in pain because I can feel my back twitching and spasming away on my left hand side. And But thank you guys for that. Have a fantastic weekend wherever you are. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on looking after each other. Keep on helping and supporting each other. And above all, Keep on loving each other. I look forward to seeing your next review from the Impain Beta Berserker. Have a great one, guys. Thank you.